Hello YouTube, I am here with the Nike Matumbo 2's. They came in this morning. So I'm going to do a little unboxing video for you guys and a comparison of the Matumbo 2's and the Matumbo 1's. Let's get into the box. So, comes with your standard track bag. Nike track and field. Slot. Another slot for each individual shoe. Got your spike wrench and eight. Looks like one fourth pyramid spikes. These are the 2013 Nike Matumbo 2s in the blue and volt colorway. They have a four pin design with a horseshoe spike plate and a heel pad made from shark skin. It's got a mesh upper and the really thick laces and the tongue and it is like an it says Nike Matumbo and has like a little bit of air in there for comfort. You got a bigger instep, more support on the longer races. Got a hole in the back. Got the new Nike Flywire technology where it's exposed. It runs from the very front of the shoe all the way to the very of the shoe. So, this is the Nike Matumbo 2's and now I'm going to show you the Nike Matumbo 1's. The Nike Matumbo 1's and 2's. So they're made out of totally different materials as you can see. Mesh, nylon, the fly wire is totally different. They still have that same weak spot. Since these aren't new, they just haven't ripped yet. Um, this has the dynamic fly wire. And then I don't know what this fly wire is called. It's just exposed. I weighed these this morning on my um, mom's cooking scale. They weighed 3.7 ounces. And these come in at 3 ounces. So the newer ones are just a little bit heavier. But this is a size 10, and this is a size 9.5, so that could be the difference too. Um, I haven't ran in the 2s yet. I literally just got them this morning. I'll be running with them in the end of the month. And I will post a new video about a review on them. This is the Nike Matumbo 2's and the Nike Matumbo 1's. Comment if you have any questions, any concerns. Peace.